Hey guys, Dr. Gooden here with an at-home workout live from my home office where I do most of the recording for the lectures that I teach. But today I'm using it as my makeshift home gym. And the only equipment we'll be using during this workout is a loaded backpack. So go ahead and grab a backpack and load it up with all of the textbooks or heavy dictionaries that you can. And we will use that as our, as our added resistance for this workout. First, let's get warmed up. So go ahead and follow along with me as I go through a warm up sequence and I'll talk you through it as we go. Okay, so we're starting off with an inchworm into a prone press up. And the idea here is we are stretching out the abdominals as well as the hip flexors a little bit. And then the hamstrings as we do those inchworms, we're warming up the shoulders and the shoulder girdles by walking the hands back and forth. And then the twist just helps to mobilize the spine, especially the thoracic spine. Next, we're going into the perfect stretch. So it starts with a hamstring and groin stretch. So foot outside of the hand, reach down with your elbow, push back with your knee, and then we rotate up to each side, keeping one hand on the ground, and then switch sides. So elbow down, push back with that knee, and rotate up to each side. And we'll do this about four or five times on each side. Next we'll do YTWLs and these are to warm up the upper back and shoulder muscles. So you want to start by hinging at the hips and then before each of these movements you retract your shoulder blades so that they pinch together in the back and then you're making the letters Y, T, W and L. So start with the Y and then T and then W by bending your elbows and then L by bringing your elbows in close to your torso. And here it is from the side. Notice how with each rep, I'm retracting those shoulder blades. Keep your chin tucked and your chest out and your back straight as you go through these. Next, we'll do a static lunge or an isometric lunge with an overhead reach and twist. This will stretch out the hip flexor and so as keep your knee hovering about an inch off the ground. Hold it for five seconds and then switch sides. And from here we're going into some toe touches and then ending with squats. So 10 of each on the toe touches. Try to keep those knees straight. My knees are a little bit bent. I don't quite have the hamstring flexibility to do this with all the way straight legs, but the idea is to just go through the range of motion that you have. And then finally squats. So on these squats, drive those knees out and keep your feet fully planted on the ground with your heel and the balls of your feet gripping the floor. Keep the chest up and eyes straight ahead. All right, we warmed up. We went through that mobility and stretching sequence. We got some of our musculature activated, especially on our upper back and in our lower body. And now it's time for it, an explanation of the workout. So this workout involves six, six different movements and then one finisher movement. Each of the first six movements, we will do one set for one minute of with a 30 second break. So exercise one for a minute, 30 second rest, exercise two for a minute, 30 second rest, all the way down to exercise number six with a 30 second break, and then we'll go into our finisher. Now our finisher will do it for three rounds, and each round is one minute. And the idea is to get, the idea on all of these is to get as many reps as possible in that minute. So here are the six movements. I have them written down here. 
Uh, we've got a Z press, a bent over row, bear hug squats, push ups, prone shoulder extensions, lunges, and then the finisher is thrusters. And all of these are going to be done with the backpack. And I'll show you how to utilize the backpack. So let me talk you through each of the seven movements. We'll We'll warm up again, we'll, you know, continuing our warm up into the workout by doing a couple reps of each of the movements so that we are sure that we know how to do it. And then we'll get into the workout. So the first is the Z press. Now on the Z press, you wanna be seated on the floor. And with my tight hamstrings, I put my feet out to the side so that I can stay upright with my torso. And you're just holding that backpack at chest level and then pressing it up and almost behind your head so that it ends up directly over your head. Don't press out in front, but up and directly over your head. The next movement is bent over rows. So find a good spot to grip your backpack so that you can get the full range of motion. You're hinging at the hips and then drive the elbow back. Keep the shoulder back and the shoulder blade retracted so your chest is out and you have your shoulder in a nice stable pulling position. Next is bear hug squats. So just give your backpack a big old bear hug, hold it tight to your chest, and then you're squatting down. This is similar in mechanics to a barbell front squat if you've ever done that before. The next exercise is push-ups with the backpack on your back. You can also do these without the backpack or at an incline or from your knees if you need to do that to get the full range of motion. Now the next exercise should be called prone shoulder extensions and flexions because that's really what we're doing. We're lying prone, pinch those shoulder blades and extend and then flex the shoulder. So out in front and then behind and we're trying to keep those shoulder blades pinched together the entire time going through internal and external rotation at the shoulder joint as well. It's actually pretty challenging as simple as it looks. Next we have lunges with the backpack and you can either do forward lunges like I'm doing here or you can do reverse lunges which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Either one is totally fine. Sometimes forward lunges put some stress on my knee that doesn't feel great so I actually prefer reverse lunges. And the last movement, the finisher movement will be thrusters with the backpack. Now a thruster is just a squat and then a press at the top. So just hold that backpack right at chest level, perform a squat, and then use that momentum to drive the backpack up and over your head. All right, those were the seven movements. And it's important to know on the one arm backpack rows, we will do those for one minute per arm. So I'm not gonna switch at 30 seconds. I'm gonna go a whole minute on the right side and then a whole minute on the left side. Okay, so we will have six exercises. It'll take us seven different one minute intervals to get through them because we have that right and left side on the one arm rows. And then 30 seconds break in between those. And then at the end, we have three sets of thrusters. Now those thrusters with the squat to press, those get very taxing very quickly. So if your shoulders fatigue before your legs do, make sure you put the backpack down and keep doing the thrusters just without anything in your hands, okay? I'm gonna give myself a minute to catch my breath after the warm up. then I'll get started. I'll start my interval timer. You can look on the screen for what's coming next and what we're, what exercise we're currently on, and there will also be a countdown timer there for you too. All right, let's hit it. All right guys, starting in 10 seconds with the Z press.
All right, 30 second recovery, 20 seconds left. You guys feel that pump? Boom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ha, <sighs> ah, it burns. All right, 10 seconds. All right, bear hug squats coming up. All right, guys, doing great. Almost halfway there. I'm so glad we're only doing each of these exercises one time.
All right, guys, just lunges left. Lunges and, of course, three rounds of thrusters. <clears throat> got thrusters in five seconds. I'm regretting this. Okay guys, last round, five seconds. Let's do it, get as many reps as you can.
Good job. All right, guys. Let me stop this timer. Okay, good work on that. Thanks for tuning in for this follow along workout. Hopefully you don't regret it. It's over now, so excellent work. Next week, we'll be coming back with another follow along workout. I'm not really sure what kind of implement I'll use. Maybe a dumbbell this time. It might be time for a dumbbell workout, but if you haven't been following along, I'm doing these every week for those of you stuck at home without a gym. For my weight training students who are enrolled in weight training, yet still at home online. For anyone else who's just looking to stay strong at home. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking it out. If you had a good workout, let me know in the comments below which one was the hardest for you. For me, definitely the thrusters at the end. I'll see you guys on the next video.